In this video, I'm going to talk about the Acer Chromebook 14. I'm going to have a look at what it can do, and then I'm going to see whether it's actually worth buying it now that it's been out for a couple of years. Okay, if that's your bag, then stick around. Hi guys, welcome back to Lee's Tech Room. I'm Lee, and this video is all about this Acer Chromebook 14, but before I go into that, I'm just going to quickly talk about my sponsor today, and that's Backblaze. Now, Backblaze offers a secure cloud backup for all your Mac and PCs for just £6 a month. You can back up all your data and all your files for just £6 a month. It's a no-brainer. Okay, so now if you need to restore all your data from Backblaze, you can do it on the web, anywhere on the web, or you can get them to send a hard drive or a flash key card uh, overnight on FedEx, um, then just back up all your data and then send it back to them job done. Get peace of mind knowing that your data is backed up on the cloud securely with Backblaze. Visit backblaze.com forward slash Lee Barnes to receive your fully featured 15 day free trial. Go and have a play with it, start protecting yourself, start today. All right let's get back to the video. I'm going to change camera so you can see what I'm doing better. Okay so the build quality on the laptop itself um, feels great to me. It's, it's cold on top um, but it's got a nice feeling to it and it's nice and sturdy and it feels good quality in your hands It's nice and thin too as well as you can't see it. It's nice and thin as well, which makes it brilliant for fitting into pockets or uh, your laptop bags Got rubber feet on the bottom, which is great for no sliding, which is awesome uh, We've got speakers on the side on the bottom which is a shame because well it needs to be on the bottom because there's no room on the sides I suppose but they could have made a little they could have made some holes there, I don't know why they didn't, but it's on the bottom, so if it's on your lap, you're not going to get the most benefit from the music or the sound that you're listening to. But it's not the end of the world, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so on the sides we've got the HDMI and two um, USB 3s, the high speed ones, and we've got the power and the, sorry that's the power, and that is the headphone sack jack. So there's no room for an SD card slot unless you put an adapter onto it um, you can get the external hard drives to go onto there which is going to be what you really need to do if you're going to have any sort of storage on there then that's what you want uh, you're looking at on this particular item this particular model it's a four gig of ram and only 32 gigs of flash storage so it's lightning quick um, but just not an awful lot of room obviously you can install apps and stuff but you don't want to be installing games or anything big because you're not going to get anywhere unless you have the hard drive but then you can't play it or use those apps if unless the hard drive is plugged in so you know catch 22 okay so because it's a um, flash drive um, you don't actually need to turn it on it does turn on pretty quickly uh, so hopefully I shall demonstrate it for you now I didn't press anything and there we go, it just turned on in its own, which I like that. I think it's good. It just cracks on, opens up itself, and then we're good to go. It's a full HD, so it's 1920 uh, by 1080. Uh, I'm going to try and type whilst I'm talking. Can I do that? Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's got it's full HD, which is brilliant, in, and I think on other brands, on the same price range, you're not going to get the full HD. Uh, so when you're streaming or when you're playing games, uh, especially watching YouTube videos, you've got really good quality as well. And the webcam is only a 720p webcam. It's usable, but it's not going to be uh, the best picture quality you can get. So you are probably going to need to get a new webcam if you're going to do anything sort of decent or if you want to get any sort of decent picture. Um, as you can see, it loaded up the uh, Google straight away because it's a Google Chromebook. Um, and let's just quickly load up, see how fast it can load up. Oops, if I spelt it right. Go to YouTube. Obviously, it depends on how, uh, how good your internet connection is as well. Uh, but as you can see, it loads up pretty quickly. I'm saying it's loaded up, but it's not actually loaded up. It's supposed to be a high speed internet. Yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty good. Um, so I've, I've been using it all this time and I've never felt any problems with it. You can have like five to ten tabs open. It still works and it still doesn't slow down too much. 
obviously if you've got too many tablets open then it's going to say wait a minute what are you doing uh, but other than that it is quite a good tablet sorry uh, laptop and in my experience of using it I think it's good I do have quite a lot of things installed onto my hard drive so I can use it as well and okay let's have a quick look at let's go to my YouTube and then let's quickly see what it's like to stream one of the videos See, it's not bad at all. Oh, no, I haven't got the sound on, so you can't hear. You don't want to hear that when you're listening to this one. Yeah, so it streams okay. Let's make it bigger. Go on, do it. there we go. Yeah, so it's a good picture. We really like it. Um, obviously, I I use my other laptop for doing my editing and stuff. Um, but this tablet, so I keep saying tablet. This laptop is good for. Um, taken away with you it's quite light and thin so you can put it in your bags which is great for that and um, yeah so I will recommend it definitely and for for using it in the future I think that we definitely will use it in the future it's gonna it's not gonna get old and because we've got four gigs of RAM that's plenty for what you're doing on it and if you want to buy it now I would suggest go for it because they are quite a good price at the moment and they're so fast at opening up and, and, and searching. It's basically, I keep on calling it a tablet, but it's basically a tablet. It's just a big tablet that you can store a little bit of apps on it and it fits in um, your small laptop bags and you won't even notice it's in there. Okay, so in summary, the laptop is a good laptop. It's a reasonably fast laptop and it's obviously really, really quiet, which is great. Uh, so when you're using it downstairs in front of the TV, you've got your missus or your boyfriend with you um, or whoever you're with, um, you want to be quiet, you can do that on this one. Um, but be aware that the the uh, mouse mat is a little bit loud when you click, but who cares about that. Um, so yeah, it's a good laptop. Um, I would say recommend it. Uh, you can buy it quite cheaply at the moment, which is great because his, his competitors are a little bit more expensive than that. This particular model is only a couple hundred quid, which is amazing price for what you get. Obviously you've got four gigs of RAM, which makes it reasonably quick. You're not gonna be playing any big games on it, obviously, because you haven't got the hard drive for it. It's only 32 gig flash uh, drive, which is fine. So it makes it nice and fast for turning on and using for streaming and watching things, or even just looking at your emails. Uh, but obviously you need to get a bigger hard drive, an external hard drive, or you're going to be using the cloud storage if you want any more bigger uh, storage. Uh, so that's it. Yeah. Recommended. Go for it. Okay. That's it from me. I've been Lee's Tech Room. Thanks for coming by and watching my new video. Please like it if you do, and please subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for coming in. I'll see you later. Bye.